Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. It's still the summer, a lot of people are still on vacation, they're still chilling out and that's fine. So we're going to go with something really easy today, but something super helpful. I'm going to teach you how you can use hyperlinks so you can link to another slide within the same deck. Let me show you what I mean. So over here we have four slides. We have one, two, three, and four. Now obviously as you can see these icons right, correspond to these slides. The football, yes, I call it football, not soccer, sorry. All right, the football corresponds to the second slide. The basketball here corresponds to the third slide. And the volleyball over here corresponds to the fourth slide. Now, traditional presentations have the following, right? You have this thing load up, and then when you're whenever you press space or click on your clicker or whatever, you automatically move to the next slide like so. But there is actually a simple way to make your entire presentation super interactive and super fun for the audience and it is awesome, right? And what I mean is I'm going to teach you a technique that you can use where you can literally click on this football icon and be taken to this football slide. Same thing with the basketball and same thing with the volleyball. And I'm gonna teach you right now, I'm gonna to cut to the chase. All you have to do is go to insert, click on shapes, click on this rectangle, and then just draw a rectangle over every icon. So I have one rectangle over here, I have one rectangle over here and I have one rectangle over here, right? Now, before we play around with the colors and the opacity and whatever, click on the first rectangle and then press on control K, right? This opens up uh, a hyperlink dialog. It says insert hyperlink, right? That menu is right there. Then on the left side here, right? All you have to do really is click on place in this document, right? And then what you have is a number of options, right? We want this link here, right, this box, to go to the football slide. And where's the football slide? It's slide number two. So we're gonna click that. And you can see the slide preview over there. So you can click, okay. We're gonna do the same thing for this box, right? Let me just show you that again. I'm gonna click on this box and press Control K. And then I'm just going to click on slide number three because here we're talking about basketball, remember? So this is gonna be this one, cool. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna click on the box, press Control K, and then move on to slide four. Awesome, all right. So we now have these three things and we can check if they work, right? So let's just go full screen. If I was to click on this box now, I should go to the football slide, is that correct? Yes, it is, okay, cool. If I was to click on this box here, I'm supposed to go to the basketball slide. Does that work? Yes, it does, awesome. So if I'm supposed to click on this slide now, Am I going to go to the volleyball slide? Yes, I am. And I do so immediately, right? That's what's powerful about this technique. But are we done? No, not really. Because now we have to click on each and every single one of these shapes and change the opacity and remove the outline. Now I know what you're thinking. A lot of people are just gonna hold control and you know, just keep moving from there to there and just so they can select multiple elements on the same slide. The problem is if you hold control and click on the elements, you're going to be taken to that slide. That's just how uh, PowerPoint is programmed. To avoid this, just hold shift as you're clicking on different things, right? So one, two, three. Awesome. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go to format. I'm going to go to shape fill. I'm going to click on no fill. And then I'm going to go to shape outline. And I'm going to click on no outline. And that, my friends, makes it all awesome and dandy and great. So let's see it again. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. What about this one? Yep, works perfect. Okay. So am I done yet? Not Really, you know, we need, you need to go all the way with this, right? We just need to make sure that it's interactive as possible, right? The thing is when using this technique, you have to imagine that your PowerPoint deck is a website, almost literally. Let's say that this sports uh, slide is my home page. And let's say that these slides over here, right, are my sub pages, right? Just like any other website in the world. If I was to go on this home page and then click on, hey, I wanna read more about basketball. There are no other menu options to help me navigate from here 
to another slide, right? There's nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about that. So I want to fix that problem. I want to make it as easy as possible for the end user or for, you know, the, uh, the, the audience member, whoever it might be that's receiving this presentation or, or booklet or whatever from PowerPoint, I want them to have full navigational abilities within the PowerPoint deck, right? So to do this, I recommend the following. So I'm just gonna go to the second slide here and press Control V. And uh, this is essentially just, you know, a house icon over a circle. Now, uh, if you don't know how to bring in icons into your PowerPoint slide that are completely editable, by the way, this is completely editable. You can change the color, you can do whatever you'd like, or you do not have the insert icons button within your PowerPoint software, then please, please, please click on the info button on the top right corner or click on the link in the description and I'll show you how you can bring in any icon you'd like into PowerPoint and make it completely editable. But for right now, I'm just gonna be using this. All right, so we have house icon, which represents home, quote unquote, and we have, uh, and we have a circle behind it. Cool, that's amazing. So we're just gonna follow the same technique that we had before. We're gonna go to insert, click on shapes, and we're gonna click on this rectangle over here. We're just gonna draw the rectangle over here just like this. Maybe just make it a bit smaller, just to, you know, for, for uh, let's just say for cosmetic sake. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna press control K, we're gonna to go to place in this document and we're gonna put in slide one, just like that. We are going to remove the fill. We're going to remove the outline. Okay, awesome. All right, awesome. So once we're done with that, let's see if it works. Does it work? Yes, it does. So now I have a link to the slide and a link back to the home page. So that works, awesome. So what I can do now is I can copy these and just paste them. And now what we have is a full-fledged system of hyperlinks that work flawlessly. It's awesome, I love it, and you're gonna love it too. If I was to go to the volleyball page, go to the volleyball page, you know, cool, awesome photo, click back to home, and you're back home. Click on the uh, basketball page, same thing, right? And you know, it doesn't seem much here because these are just photos, but when you have lots of information that you need to categorize, maybe a table of contents, right? This would be awesome and by the way before you even ask yes 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 if you were to export your presentation as a pdf and send it over to a client or whoever it still works the hyperlink still stays in place check it out it still works it doesn't look as pretty but it works right you can see where you're clicking and you can see where you are going now obviously this technique does work best when you're in a powerpoint presentation or whatnot but for all intents and purposes, the hyperlinks do work in PDF format as well, which can be very useful to some consultants that I know. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I have for you this week. I hope this tip was useful. Please, 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 if you have any troubles or whatever, just leave a comment, you know. If you do like this video, please leave a like, you know. Uh, do subscribe to SlideCow, you know. Do share the video. Go out there, make the SlideCow name known. I love you guys. I will see you next week. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.